What's up everybody, this is Phil from MDC, and tonight, lucky enough that tonight I've got a set of Fast and Furious, Furious Fleet. I found these today, uh, very lucky. We have the Honda S2000 guys, yeah here's the card art, looks like a pretty uh, solid set. Um, Starting with that one, then we have the uh, custom Mustang. This one has a busted up uh, blister. Not too worried. I open them anyways. And for the one I was really waiting for, I mean, most people are waiting for the Honda S2000, and I get it, but I was really waiting on this one, okay, because this is the first time that this casting has been released and I was stoked about getting this one the Hellcat wide body SRT charger in this mean black livery can't wait to open that one then we got the old Jeep Gladiator okay which I believe is the second release of this one but it's not exactly the same I believe the the, the back toolbox is different okay so we'll check that out and the Land Rover Defender 90, okay, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, that might be the first release of this one, okay? So there's a couple of uh, pretty cool castings, and I love the black on this one as well. Anyways, we'll get into that, okay? So we're going to set up the old trusty uh, turntable. Anybody wants to see the back art, uh, I'll just show you guys the back uh, fast, fast there. And I believe... That these are all, except for the one, from Fast 9. Okay, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Fast 9. Fast 9. And this one should not be. This is from the Fast and the Furious. Perfect. Okay. Excellent there. So we've got three from Fast 9, or four from Fast 9, and one from the original Fast and Furious. So let's get up the trusty turntable. Start off with number one, which is probably the one that most people are really stoked about. And I'll be honest with you, I'm very stoked about it too, don't get me wrong, okay? This Honda S2000, I think it's about time. I mean, they've been on this um, Fast and Furious kick for a while now. And the, the S2000 has not come out, which is a real surprise, because it is from the first movie. Alright, so it should have been out a long time ago. Anyways, I'm not going to complain. Let's crack her open and take a good look at this Honda S2000, guys. Enough of my yak, yak, yak. You guys know I'm not a yak, yak, yakker. I'm a shower. So let's take a look at these beautiful models. And this one, to start off the set, is really not a slouch, okay? This is a beautiful looking S2000, guys. Okay, we did, we did get it in mainline, all right? And we did get it in the main line in this exact livery. But this gloss black and these wheels are just beautiful. Let me get the main line out, guys, since it's right here. I'm going to take a quick comparison. Okay. So just a fast shot here. We have the main line, all right? The main line came out with the uh, red interior, plastic base, all right, 10 spoke rims, and it looked good back then. I mean, this black uh, was really pretty nice. And Hold on a second, guys. Sorry, my sons are calling. Oh, i got to push pause. Sorry about that, guys. My sons were calling me. Uh, so anyways, as I was saying here on this main line, guys, we didn't get any rear decals. Okay, we did get the front lights. All right. Anyways, we'll put that one aside and we'll check this guy out right here, which we do have full deco in the rear. Okay. And we have deco in the front. And this was a really long awaited casting, guys. Just a beautiful casting. 
Now the windows are tinted on this. We do have a black interior, which is cool. And the windows are tinted. So it kind of gives it a, a feeling that the pillar is there in the front. But it's not. Okay. And I, I know some people have explained to me about that. But still, to me, uh, I find that those pillars should be there. And I'll always complain about that. But this is just beautifully executed, guys. Really, really beautifully executed S2000. And I'm glad we finally have it in the collection. Okay, next we have number two of five, which is the uh, Mustang, custom Mustang. And I believe that this is a brand new casting as well, to be honest with you. I think this is a revamped Mustang casting. I don't think we have this one yet, guys. If I glance over at my premium Mustangs, I don't think this is in there. I mean, I was going to say that this was like the uh, treasure hunt, the supers, but it's not. No. And here it is. And these beautiful 10 spoke locked out wheels. Now we're back to no mirrors, uh, side mirrors, hey eh, guys? I thought uh, Hot Wheels was going to start putting side mirrors all the time, but no, my luck, no. But look at that paint, eh? Isn't that blue paint just shiny, eh? Just gorgeous. Like a metallic blue. Just simply gorgeous. We do have front decal, rear decal, of course. It's a premium model. Just beautiful. It looks a bit like the front stripe is not 100% centered. I um, hope it is, but uh, is it 100%? doesn't look like it. looks a little offset. But anyways, all the decals there are beautifully done. Beautifully done. The interior is really nicely done. I mean, the shifter, you can see the shifter pretty well. All right. Metal base, beautiful black metal base. Love these rubber tires. Just makes the car look awesome. And that paint is just spectacular, guys. Okay, next, the one I want. The Dodge Charger SLT SRT Hellcat Wide Body. Well, welcome piece into the collection, guys. I love this piece. As I said, it's the first time we get this charger in premium. I think it's actually the first time I've ever seen this. No, no, no. Well, maybe with the wide body. It might be. No, we've had it in... Uh, no, we've had it in uh, mainline before. But look at this, guys. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Now, I'll be honest with you. Okay. Love this casting. Love the paint. Love the wide body kit. I love the demon on the front. Okay. The Hellcat demon. Wow. It's just getting right out of focus. There you are. And what else I really like are these red reflectors on the uh, fenders. I keep getting out of focus. Okay. It's got the red reflectors on the uh, fenders. And it's got the orange on the front. I mean, the detail is awesome. The one thing that throws me off a bit is the stripe, okay? I would have really preferred this car to be just jet black, okay? Now, it doesn't throw me enough to, to, to bother me, but... I mean, this is just gorgeous. Look at those blacked-out five spokes. I mean, this car's done perfectly, guys. Honestly, it's just done perfectly. Let me see the release date on this because... Yeah, it's 2020. So this is a brand new casting, okay? Brand, uh, brand new, uh, never been done casting. That is just beautiful. The Mustang is that a 2020 as well? I believe it is, eh? Should be a 2020 release. 2015, okay. So it is an older one. This is uh, been done before this Mustang. Anywho. 
Next, we have the Jeep Gladiator. And the first release of this one was in green, right? Yeah, it was in green, holding a pair of motorcycles in the back. Now we have it in this silver, with it looks like some kind of toolbox setup. This is a pretty solid set, uh, again, guys. I mean, uh, the past uh, few sets have been really, really solid. And here we are. In the silver. And she's looking good. She's looking good. Okay, let's see. Right off the bat, the back. I can't tell what it is inside. It looks a bit like, uh, I don't know, some toolboxes or some uh, gas containers. Then we have this on the side here, which I'm not really sure. Does this come off? It looks like it comes off. It does move. I wonder if it comes off. Hmm. I don't want to break it, but it looks like it might come off. Because it does move. Anyways, I'm not going to break it, guys, but enough with that. Here's the underbase, the undercarriage. This is also 2020 release, which we do know because the uh, other version just came out uh, fairly recently. And I love the matching re uh, rims. So we've got uh, silver or brushed aluminum rims with this beautiful silver paint. And we have side mirrors, which is awesome. Big, beefy tires. And I like this casting better than the other one, actually. I'll be honest with you. I like this silver uh, this silver color on it. Just looks awesome. Rear detail, front detail. Beautiful looking Jeep. Beautiful looking Jeep. Okay, guys. Next, we have the Land Rover Defender 90. Beautiful little small version of this off-roader. I th I'm think I'm a bigger fan of the uh, the bigger one, guys. To be honest with you, the Land Rover, the Defender 110. But this one, she looks really cute. Actually, it really it looks really nice. This one, again, blacked out wheels. I think they're all blacked out wheels. Yeah, no, the only two that came uh, without blacked out were the uh, the the S two thousand and the Jeep Gladiator. Those two came with uh, silver uh, chrome wheels. The other three were blacked out. And this Land Rover Defender, honestly, guys, is, is gorgeous. Again, all blacked out. I love the color black on these cars, guys. It just looks awesome. Front detail is amazing. Side mirrors again. We do have a sunroof, which is pretty cool. We do have back tire spare tire and we have rear detail this is the first one of these i have in my collection defender 90 which is pretty welcomed and looking good looking real good so overall guys i think this is an awesome set a really awesome set and i must say the, the S2000, actually, I'm not going to go there. You know that? I'm not even going to go there. I'm not going to say which one's my favorite because basically I think they're all really nice. This one I think is gorgeous. This one, I love it. No disappointment there. The Mustang is just gorgeous. The S2000 nailed right out of the park. And the Jeep. They did an amazing job on it. And I'm not the biggest Jeep fan, guys. And I think this one is amazing. So there you are. That's it. That is the Fast and Furious Furious Fleet. Alright. Till next time. Um, just to tell you guys, okay, next video... I did pick up a few little things I want to show you. I did get this set here, all right? Just to give you a tease of the next video coming up, okay? I did find the Forza set, guys.
Okay, and I did find all five cars. All right, and I found a couple of cars from the A case. Okay, so that's going to be my next video. So as of today, we're done. So be safe, be well, happy hunting. Until next time, take care, guys. Bye.